Hello, 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 my lovely, lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. My name is Joy. Hello. Today we are doing a pick a card on how your person is currently thinking and feeling about you, the connection, and anything else that's going on. You guys know I will share. If you're a returning um, viewer, thank you so much. So happy to have you back. If you're new, hi, welcome. I hope you enjoy um, my readings. I am an intuitive and classic reader. I do get a lot of messages um, from elsewhere, so I do share anything that comes up. So um, if you are returning, don't forget to like, comment. That helps this video and helps me uh, in the world of YouTube, and I always appreciate that. So I have uh, three piles for you guys today. We're using the Ace of Cups from three different decks. Um, pile one, I have this beautiful sodalite heart here. Very pretty. And we are using an independent deck called the Sister Moon Tarot. And this is this Ace of Cups is very much um, very reminiscent of if you like to catch uh, fireflies as a kid. Um, that's not what's in this picture, but um, it just reminds me of that. Um, but this is the picture. Very beautiful. It's kind of like a mason jar with lights inside of it. Someone holding it. So if that speaks to you with the sodalite, that is pile one. Pile two is another independent deck called the Honest Truth Tarot. Um, we have this coffee with a beautiful little heart design here with orange um, calcite. Always reminds me of a creamsicle, this heart. In pile three, I'm using the Light Sears Tarot. This is the Eight of Cups from this. And we are using a rainbow moonstone here, heart. So take a deep breath, go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. If you're drawn to more than one, feel free to watch more than one pile. Um, if you wanna watch piles on different people, totally fine as well. The timestamps will be in the description box below. You just click the more um, button and it'll open the description box and you can find the timestamps there. Just click on them. It'll take you right to your spot in the reading. Sometimes people use the numbers to help them decide if they're having a hard time. Um, whatever works for you to find your pile. Um, again, we have pile one, pile two, pile three. I will leave these up for a moment, but if you need more time, feel free to pause the screen and then I will see you at your pile. Bye guys. Hello, my lovely friends for pile one. You guys picked this beautiful Ace of Cups. And actually this is the Fairy Tarot by Sister Moon Tarot. I got this off of Etsy. Pretty cool deck, I haven't used it in forever. Um, independent deck, um, always like to support independent um, deck creators. So, and then this Sodalite heart here. And we are going over how is your person currently feeling and thinking about you and the connection and anything else that wants to come out. Um, you guys know that I'll share. Uh, we will be doing a little bit of an energy check-in just to kind of help you make sure you're in the right pile. Um, and uh, as always, this is a general reading. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to make things fit. If they don't fit for you, just respect that that part was for somebody else. So I will get into the tarot in a second. Um, we're going to go over this first. Um, I also do want to say I'm sorry for any crazy background noise. The, uh, the house next door to me is being gutted and renovated, so it's been a little hit or miss. <laughs> so I apologize. I think they might be doing a, have been done for the day, but I'm not sure. So if you hear that, that's what it is. Maybe there for some of you guys or some sort of construction tie in with your person. I don't know, <laughs> or a remodeling or a house flipper. I don't know. I felt the need to, to point that out. So we have, um, first we have the child. So there is within this connection, there could be an age difference. Um, the number 13 may be important for you guys, or maybe a J name here as well. Someone could have children. Um, this card also represents like a newness or um, a renewing of things um, or new information coming in. Um, we do have someone catching butterflies, so there may be a tie there with some of you. Um, the, the yellow dress seems really important. 
I've never really picked up on that in this card, but I'm being drawn in to mention this yellow dress. So that might be for somebody as well, as well as that there's roses on this card. Um, but, uh, but for the energy of this card, there's, there's a freshness to this connection. There's a freshness. Again, there could be a renewal, um, or a recent restart of this connection. Um, some of these cards that came out definitely represent that. And, uh, so that kind of fits into that theme. Next, we have the strength cards. So there could be Leo vibes here. There's also, um, I'm getting like, someone could be like a gym rat or really big into fitness, like getting stronger. Um, there's also could just be a very um, immense strength to the connection, immense pull that you guys feel to this person, this person feels to you. Um, there also could be like some hidden truths or some wanting to hear a truth. Um, with this blue butterfly. Blue is the color of the throat chakra. Um, so there could have been some recent information that's come out that you've heard some truths about something. Um, maybe that's why you're here or trying to figure that out. But I feel like the truth wants to come out for sure. And this is why <laughs> this like these cards all came out. So there's definitely if you guys haven't reconciled with this person, if you've been in separation and you're feeling that that should be coming up there. The energy really supports that. Or some of you guys, there could have been a new reconnection with this person or this connection for some of you guys could just be new. Um, as I looked up at the clock, it was 333, if that means anything to anyone. Um, but uh, so with that, you know, I can read that a couple ways. For some of you guys, this is a brand new connection. For some of you guys, this is a renewal because um, we have new life and reconciliation. So when these cards all came out, like those three came out together and I'm like, I almost wanted to pick, put them back because I'm like, it feels too perfect, but I, I don't do that. I go along with it, but um, it was interesting. So we do have an egg in the background. So a new life is being created here. Uh, some of you guys could have a child with this person, with this child and the sense of a new life uh, as well. Um, but for some of you guys, this feels like a, you know, again, a reigniting of this connection after possibly a long time of um, being in separation, because uh, it looks like in this picture, she's kind of stretching and waking up. Someone also could have just had a an, an recent epiphany or an aha moment around this connection, either you or them, like realizing that there's something more to this connection. Maybe again, some new truth, some new information came through that kind of re-sparked this. And then this card says reconciliation. This is a coming together with someone and working on whatever has torn you apart. This could be a past connection. This person is praying for a new beginning with you. Be willing to give this relationship or connection a second chance. This may pertain to an apology or a compromise. So again, there could be a recent apology, a recent compromise, or a need for that coming through. So that's kind of the the overall energies to kind of help you guys see if you're in the right spot. And then we will jump into the tarot as I drop it on the floor. I'm going to shuffle this Ace of Cups back into this though. And let's get started. There will be an extended on this reading. If you're interested, that link will be in the description box below, but we're going to get a lot of information in the free reading. So don't worry, but if it does resonate and you want more, feel free. All right. So how is Kyle One's person feeling about them, please? Kyle One feeling about the viewer. Kyle One's person feeling. We have a Five of Cups, so there is a regret here. We did touch on the apology. So this person is feeling a little sad, a little regretful, maybe looking back on past actions. Um, and this kind of feels like being regretful about not being open about feelings in the connection. We'll clarify that in a little bit. I'll get more information for you guys. We have strength again. Again, Leo vibes popping up. This person definitely feels a strong pull to you. They feel very connected to you. Um, for some of them, they feel like... It's all... <laughs> It comes in like, I'm hearing like words like, like you cast a spell on me. Again, not like, like, and I mean in like a playful way. Um, not like, oh my God, you know, kind of thing, like any bad vibes or anything with that. It's just like, 
they feel so strongly towards you that you, they feel almost like they don't have much of a choice. And again, that's coming in playful. It's not coming in as an, against anyone's free will or anything like that. Um, so, but there's definitely a strength here in this connection. Um, I keep seeing someone working out. I mean, I guess it's not a stretch, right? Um, with someone, but someone actually may, one of somebody out there may actually be like a personal trainer or something like that. This keeps popping in. All right. We have a page of cups that flew out here. And again, this blue butterfly being highlighted. So this person definitely wants to express how they feel and maybe they, they held feelings back or have been holding feelings back, but now they're kind of want to come in and, and express that towards you. They definitely are like almost like nurturing these feelings. They might have had an epiphany around these feelings recently and it's coming in strong. It's like once they realized, you know, whatever had this, whatever caused them to have this epiphany, it's like it's growing stronger within them. Um, it's kind of like the feeling like you don't realize what you have until it's gone kind of vibes coming in. All right, how is this person? How one's person feeling about them? We have the Empress and a Ten of Swords coming in. All right, I have a couple interesting messages. I'm going to touch on all of them. Again, general reading, a lot of people watch these, so I get a lot of different things. Um, maybe a one-off for somebody. If somebody picks someone else over you, like they picked another person, they could be ending that connection uh, the way this is coming in. Because I feel like this needs to be together to discuss that. So if you're curious about if someone had a different person, if if they're still together, I think that that's coming to an end. Um, aside from that, how this person feels about you, um, if I'm viewing this as you, for those of you that that's not your scenario, there is this like, again, this pull, this draw you have over them. For some of them, they they don't really... It's playful, but at the same time, it's a little frustrating for them. It's like they, they, I feel like they try to either ignore it or try to end it, but yet, you know, are feeling very much attracted to you. The Empress here is always when I feel like somebody is just enamored with you, almost just you do no wrong when they have you on a pedestal, that kind of thing. Um, there also might be a level of this person if they did see you through rosy colored glasses in the past, you know, really kind of seeing the reality of you, but realizing like how truly beautiful that you are, like you aren't just, you know, there's so much depth to you. Like they might, you know, be seeing deeper within you versus if they just saw you on a surface level before. Okay, so let's clarify these. All right. Let's see, can you clarify this five of cups, please? The world. So there is a there is a sadness around not being able to complete this out, not being able to have everything that they want. And this feels a little bit like somebody who wanted their cake and to eat it too. Like they wanted all of it. <laughs> and maybe, maybe that didn't work. And maybe this is where this apology or this compromise is coming back in. We do have this little fairy. That's kind of a little Tinkerbell. So Tinkerbell might be important to some of you guys. Um, maybe some of you guys have a little Tinkerbell vibe about you. <laughs> that, you know, you're magical, but yet you don't put up with anybody's BS <laughs> kind of vibe. Um, Halloween might be important as well. Um, there also could be a level of travel here or some long distance and being sad that you guys can't be together. Um but this feels like a sadness around a cycle ending. All right, let's keep going. Can we clarify the strength card, please? Page of Swords. Yeah, they feel drawn to speak to you, drawn to reach out to you, drawn to have some sort of communication. I think that they think about you a lot. And again, even when they try not to, <laughs> you like kind of like come in to their thoughts. Um, someone's name might be Ivy. Um, or there might be an IV connection. I need to point that out. Um, huh, okay. There is this like regal strength message that's coming through. So I, I don't quite 
it's like almost like this person like you might come across as very strong and like you don't let a lot of people in through your armor at times but yeah there's a sweetness to you there's this like underside of you that not a lot of people get to see but you know you may have let this person in on like some vulnerabilities of you and that for some reason for some of you guys may be a frustration that you're like oh, why did I tell them this or why was I open about that or I feel like there's like someone repeating like shoulda woulda couldas or I, I should have done that differently but you being vulnerable with them you being open and honest about something with them has really touched their heart in a way that they might not have expressed just yet okay so I'm here, like, don't regret being vulnerable. King of Swords. Yeah, you guys are heavily on this person's mind. They're thinking a lot about it. Um, there may be a little bit of a head versus heart here. Um, so I'm looking at this King of Swords, and he kind of looks, he's sitting doing the thinking man thing. But looking a little frustrated. In this one, we have this Page of Cups. We have this child, like, holding on to their legs, almost like nurturing their heart holding on to their heart trying to even though they want to express these feelings you know they're they might be battling their head about it it's like in my heart I know I feel all this but in my head I'm trying to be logical and it's it's a little bit of a frustration with this person this head versus heart or heart versus head and with the with the king versus a page you know sometimes their head wins a little bit so they may talk themselves out of being expressionate with you you may have had moments where you thought they were going to open up a little bit more and then they pulled back that could be in this connection as well all right let's clarify this empress ten of swords please eight of swords okay there could be some limiting beliefs around how this can work out some of them may have put you on a pedestal where in turn they ended up feeling inferior that's where that rosy color glass is like, you know, sometimes we're like, oh, yeah, they see me so highly. But if your person has any sort of insecurities and stuff like that, as soon as they put you that high, it makes them cower back or or think of all the reasons that this wouldn't work or you wouldn't like them or you would see, you know, you would realize that they aren't that special because they don't see th themselves that way. But again, some of them could be trying to be a little more realistic and, and see you as you know, still the beautiful person that you are, but not that you're out of reach. But I think a lot of them are still kind of stuck in this kind of, um, <laughs> as I say that, sorry, I'll tell you why I giggled in a second. St <laughs> stuck in that cycle of, of you know, this pause and an, an, an inability to do something about how they really feel. Bottom of the deck, why I giggled? Because it was the hangman. <laughs> so as I'm talking about stuck, I flipped it over and seen the hangman. So overall in this connection, this person does feel a little stuck, not sure what the right course of action is. Again, they're feeling a little regretful or sad that they can't have more. I do want to kind of, because we do have a vibe of some of you guys, for those of you guys in a newer connection, I do want to kind of look at these cards through that scope for a second. So for those of you that have just kind of met this person and you're curious, there's definitely, this person could have a fear of being everything that you need. This person does feel strongly towards you. There is some, you know, some loving feelings going on, but they, they do battle with themselves about it. Um, there could be an ex kind of tampering around. Um, or they could just have some insecurities around what is possible or if they can live up and, and be everything that you deserve. So they might be a little bit of a pause there. So that's kind of that scope. I did want to touch on that. So, okay, let's pull some more cards. Can we get some more insight to how this person's feeling or what's going on with them? Wishing on the stars. So this person could feel like you're some sort of wish come true. Again, this person... In these circumstances, I think they put you a little bit on a pedestal, um, which again, almost feels like to their own demise here. But we have guided. Some of them could feel guided by the stars. They could feel like this connection's a little faded, like they were meant to meet you. They might not know why, but they feel like you're definitely supposed to be in their life or they're supposed to cross your path. Destiny. Yeah, this person definitely feels like 
either like a soul level connection, that kind of thing. Feels like, you know, soulmate, soul level connection, whatever label you want to put onto it. But this person definitely feels like this is destiny. That it was like, you know, almost written in the stars, guided by the stars that you guys were meant to meet each other. Kind of love how that all came out. All right, how else is this person feeling, please? conversations so they enjoy your conversations they may play your conversations over and over again if you were the one that was vulnerable with them and you're second guessing it i'm telling you not to it's almost like you are showing them a different way of being it's just they might be scared by that but at the same time it, it it's sparked something in them heavy they definitely feel the weight of this connection, the strength of this connection. Some of them, it might feel a little scary though, but you're heavily on their, their thoughts. Like you are in their head all the time. All right, let's see. Meet me in my dreams. So there could be a dream connection. You may have been in their dreams. They may be in your dreams. We do have healing at the bottom of the deck here. All right. Um, also kind of Pisces vibes there. Sorry, we didn't really go over any signs here. We talked about Leo. We have some Scorpio energy here. A lot of air signs. Um, we have Gemini popping up. And for some of you guys, again, I kind of touched on this either long distance or that you guys could be from different, like, different countries or something. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, Pisces is definitely coming in strong, too. With this hangman energy and the meet me in my dreams kind of energy. All right. So how else is this person feeling? Roaming wild, free spirit at risk possibilities. So this person, yeah, may be a little bit of a world traveler. I was going to say that and I didn't, but it, it, they're reiterating that. So this person may have chosen an alternate, for some of you guys, an alternate route. Maybe wanted to go after some other things. They could be feeling guilty about that because it did pop up in the Five of Cups position. Illusions, clouded judgment, unbalanced, and skewed. So they may feel, you know, I was telling you, some of them feel like there's a little bit of a spell cast. So they may be trying to like rationalize that. Some of you guys could be a little mystical or a little witchy or, you know, for some reason, you know, not that you cast a spell on them, but because I feel like a lot of people that watch my channel have a lot of integrity, but if they see you as this kind of magical person, they might be second guessing that a little bit. Um, like, oh, well, maybe they just put a spell on me and that's why I'm just drawn to this person. But really, you're like, no, I'm just awesome, right? <laughs> um, and you just like me. You just are trying to talk yourself out of it. Um, the chase, preparation, relentless. So I feel like with this coming up over this head versus heart, they might chase their own, like, they go after their feelings and then they go back into this like analytical kind of stage. And it's almost like they're doing their own chase. Um, it's like they're chasing their own feeling. It's weird. It's interesting. Like I'm literally seeing like this cat, but on like <laughs> a hamster wheel. Um, I think a lot of you guys will understand that. So we have resentment here. So again, there, there's some sort of resentment involved in this connection. It says stinging words, bitterness, anger. So I'm not sure. Maybe you guys ended on a harsh note. Because we did have that seven or ten of swords with that empress clarified by the eight of swords here. So there there could just be they, they're not seeing things clearly. They're not seeing this connection clearly. They have a little resentment. Also, some of them could be resenting that they allowed someone else into the connection. For those of you guys with that storyline that is coming in pretty darn strong. Um I said it was a one-off, but it might be like a five-off. <laughs> several of you guys in that scenario. Maybe some of you guys pick somebody else. That could be the that bitterness here. So, all right. Let's do some songs, and then I'm going to do some message cards, and then I will take this over to the extended. All right. So, <laughs> I'm just going to take the two that are on top because a lot 
Oh, I guess only four popped out. We'll just take these. So we have, with these songs, if you don't know them, at least look up the lyrics. There's gonna be some sort of message in there for you. Um, if you know them, they may have a personal meaning. Um, if you don't care, that's fine too. <laughs> All right, we have How's It Gonna Be by Third Eye Blind. That's very much How's It Gonna Be When You Don't Know Me Anymore is one of the main lines. Um, we have Now or Never by Halsey. It's like either you're gonna, you know, love me now or never. We have By Your Side by Sade. Beautiful song. So there's like a sweetness to this connection, but there's also this little bit like, again, how's this gonna be like now or never? And then we have Style by Taylor Swift. So again, that reconciliation, maybe you guys go, this isn't your first rodeo around in this circle that you guys have been dancing around with. We have Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls in the bottom. I felt the need to uh, point that song out. All right, let's do some message cards. Yeah, what do I want to use? I like using these. And then I will take this over to the extended just to kind of go over um, this person's intentions, uh, possible outcomes, and guidance, and as well as more message cards. So, all right, so let's see. Pile one's person, what do they want to say? What do they want pile one to know? Don't lose hope for us. We can work it out. You're so beautiful to me. Being a part has changed my life. Can you forgive me? Can you try to understand me? Card on the floor. I'm sorry that I criticized you. I need to focus on my finances right now. You're my secret inspiration. I found safety in the silence between us. I'm living the consequences of my choices. And let's see, one more. I keep getting signs that remind me of you. So pile one, don't forget to like or comment. Even if it's just an emoji, it helps me out. If you're interested um, in a deeper dive on what's gonna go on in this connection past this point, um, feel free to uh, check out the extended, the link's in the description box. And as always, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. It's truly an honor and I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile two. You guys picked this orange calcite heart. Very much reminds me of an orange cream sickle. <laughs> Um, and we are going over how your person is currently feeling about you, thinking about you, and anything else that uh, my guides want me to share. You guys know that I will. I am going to start off with some oracle cards just to kind of get us an energy check-in or possibly some particulars about the connection that may help you um, know if you're in the right spot um, in the right pile. If you're drawn to this pile, then there's something in here you need to hear, but um, Kind of like, or you guys like when I start off with the energy check-in. So I like to try to do that. There will also be an extended on this reading. Um, if you want to get into more stuff, but we'll be covering a lot of stuff in this reading um, in the free version. So let's start here. And this is the um, Honest Truth Tarot by Cherub's Thunder um, on Etsy. If you're interested in this deck. Okay, so um, next, first we have, it says past life connection. You have a strong karmic past life connection with this person. This is a strong psychic or spiritual connection. You may feel like you've known this person before. This connection is very destined, fated, and karmic in a way that is good for your soul. So I want to kind of reiterate karma. Um, I know a lot of people think of that instantly as bad or just a karmic relationship. And that's not necessarily what this card is referring to. Karma is balance. Karma are the lessons that we came here to learn, the experiences that we wanted to have. So within this connection, you may feel like that again, very drawn to this person, like you've known, known them before. Um, again, that there's a spiritual connection here and that you guys may have signed up or signed contracts to learn stuff from each other or possibly balance stuff out from a past life but there is a sense of knowing between the two of you guys with this card here uh, next we have regeneration 
So for some of you guys, this could be a little bit of a relationship that's gone, you know, through some, through some, through some cycles of maybe ending and beginnings because we kind of have this tree here. It's starting to bloom again after kind of getting burned down. Um, there could be like a fire connection between the two of you guys or some fire signs here. Um, a sense of being a little explosive or burning each other up. Um, like there's an intensity within this connection. Um, but someone may work with fire like I am seeing a camping fire, but also it could be like firefighter or even like a chef, like someone cooking over a open flame is, is coming up in my visuals. Um, the number 46 may be important as well. Uh, we have empowerment here. So there's something about this connection that you seem to empower each other. You may have encouraged each other. You may have catalyzed each other um, in order to like be the best versions of yourself. Sometimes that's a beautiful thing. Sometimes that's a very hard lesson to go through to step out empowered afterwards. But there is that dynamic here of like, um, almost like, you know, again, building each other up and either that's, that will may have come from tearing each other down first, unfortunately, um, that dynamic, that energy is here too. Um, but it could just be like someone helping you see yourself, um, truly and clearly and how, um, you know, again, stepping into your power, either from this connection or because of this connection. Um, and then we have the stars, the number 16, we have a six here, and we had a 46. So six is maybe important, the 16th of a month or the sixth month. Um, we have the stars. So this could feel a very faded. Um, there could be a lot of wishing going on in this connection, um, wishing things were different. Um, there could be a lot of stargazing between the two of you guys. You both could have a, um, a, a connection via space um, or looking up at the stars or being very interested in the astronomy as well as astrology could be here too. You guys could have similar signs um, or placements if you're into astrology as well. Or you may have like looked up your birth chart with theirs or something like that. Um, like I'm hearing synastry charts and things like that. So, okay, um, we did have this Ace of Cups. I mean, I'm gonna shuffle it back into the deck. Um, but there may be a coffee component with you guys as well, with you being drawn to this card. So let's see. How is Pile 2 person feeling and thinking about them? How is Pile 2's person feeling about them currently? Pile 2's person thinking about them. We have an Ace of Wands. So this person is extremely attracted to you. Um, they feel very connected to you in a very passionate way. They could want to reignite, um, have a new fiery, passionate beginning with you. Um, this card actually does say travel here. Um, so there could be a sense of there is a travel connection, a distance connection within this connection, or you guys have traveled together or have made plans to travel. We have all the fire signs, so all the fire signs are represented. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius showing up here. But when it comes to how they feel about you, they want to uh, <laughs> have some alone time, some intimate time with you. They definitely enjoy that or it's heavily on their mind. We have the star here. We have stars again. So this is Aquarius five showing up here. Um, there is this wishing, this belief, this trust. There's a faith here that this is, there's a destiny, a destined component to this connection with them. And they see you that way. They also see you as a very hopeful, optimistic person. Um, they have, and they have those feelings about you. It's like you almost lift their spirits a little bit. Like you remind them that, you know, things don't always have to be, um, negative. They can be really positive. You can be hopeful about your future. Maybe you've empowered this person. You know, we did have this empowerment. This is how this is coming across. This person feels like you lift them up in a way that other people don't. Um, it's like you set a fire into them. You also may have helped them and um, really go after their own dreams, go after their own like spark. Again, a very catalyzing kind of connection here between the two of you guys. 
um, we have a page of wands. So there's a curiosity, there's an artistic connection here. Again, a lot of wand energy. Um, so, uh, but this good news, like, like I'm being very drawn into the word, the fact that this card happens to say good news on it. So I feel like this person, you're the person they like to share their good news with their, you're the person that they want to tell things to. Now this is this message in this deck, all the pages are kind of shown in a bottle. So it always reminds me of like someone wanting to speak out, but for some reason there's an inability. So there may be, for some of you guys, maybe blocked, or there could be some blocking energy or like an inability to get to share uh, this, this information, this news with you, um, if you were drawn to this deck. So some of you guys could have blocked this person, they could have blocked you, there could be some interference that makes it um, unable to connect with each other. We have an eight of wands. So this person does want to communicate with you. They want to have a rapid change. They want things to shift. They want things to move quickly. Again, we have a lot of fiery energy going on. Like there's a lot of passion that this person feels towards you and about the connection. Um, I think I want to do a five row. And we have the emperor. So Aries energy showing up. Um, you make this person feel very stable. You make them feel like the best version of themselves. Uh, you make them feel like they can do anything, that empowering thing. You could be the type of person that is just very good at like lighting other people up, giving people hope. And that's something that they appreciate and they see about you. Okay. Someone's name might be Michael. We have Archangel Michael on here, and I'm being very drawn into the name Michael, so I need to call that out. All right, so let's clarify all these and get some more information for you. How's this person feeling? Can we get more insight to this Ace of Wands, please? Seven of Cups. So there could be a level that some of them have been a little bit of a player, had a couple options. They also could see you as someone that has a lot of options, but Seven of Cups is also about daydreaming. So you could be heavily in this person's daydreams or their fantasies, um, showing up in their dreams too. Um, so we have some Scorpio vibes here as well. Um, this Eight of Wands, I want to give a nod to Sagittarius too. Um, but um, Venus being on this card, Venus is that planet of love. It's how we love, who we love, and what we love. So there is this level of like, <sighs> sorry, there's like a saying that's coming up and I don't know if it's a line in a movie, but I don't think I've heard it. So, but I, it's on like, you know, when you're trying to remember the lyrics to a song, like that's, it's on the edge of my thoughts. Um, <sighs> I'll say what, I'll, I'll try to describe this as best I can. Sorry that I'm stumbling. Um, it, it sounds something like out of all the options, then there was you. Out of all the people in the world, but then there was you. So I don't know if that's something someone has said to somebody. Because again, it's on the outskirts of what I'm picking up on. But I don't quite think it's a movie line, but it could be. Out of all the options, but then there was you. Or out of all the things in the world, then there was you. It's like basically this person, the, the sentiment that's coming across with this is like, yeah, there might be a plethora of people or a plethora of things, but they don't hold a torch to you. And this person's mind, you know, again, you're like the best of the best. Okay. Um, chariot. So Cancer vibes showing up. We have the moon here. This person feels very drawn to you. Again, you're like their like, you're almost like a lighthouse to this person. Some of you guys could be light workers. It's like you're their own little guidance system and like almost like their true north. They do want to move forward with but again, there's a sense of travel here too. And there could be a distance for some of you guys. They could want to breach that distance. Um, but they want to move ahead. There's something though, like. Hmm. And I don't know if this is the same like little thing that I'm pulling in someone's energy really hard here. Um, and this may be a one-off. It's like, there's a sense of like, I want to move forward, but I'm afraid of hurting you. 
So this person may have hurt you in the past and they, they don't want their old patterns. Like, you know, they may have some more healing to do with the star showing up here. Um, and they may need to know, they may know that they need to work on their healing first before they don't want to come in and, and mess things up again. They don't want to burn things down like that regeneration card. Even though you guys keep, seem to keep coming back around, they, they don't want to, they don't want it to go up into flames again. They want it to be stable. They want it to be secure. Um, okay. We have a nine of cups. One of those things they may want to tell you, even though it feels bottled up with inside, is how much, you know, their your your their wish fulfilled. You check off all the boxes. With this nine of cups. This is someone's like you have everything that they want, and I think they want to speak the truth of that to you with this blue butterfly here. Magician. So they, they either are trying to figure a way out. Like if you guys are in some sort of separation where, again, there's that vibe of not being able to communicate, um, they may be trying to manifest or figure out ways to talk to you. Uh, for those of you guys in connection with these people, um, they just want things to change. They want things to move faster. Um, if things have been moving slowly, they like almost want to take a leap and go after this. I wouldn't be surprised if I got like a, <laughs> the fool that came up or something like that. Um, it's like this, okay, let's hurry up. Let's get this going. Like this is, these are all pretty quick moving energy. I mean, cups are a little slower, but like the way this is coming in, this person feels like so like there's so much passion here and they really want to take this forward. Um, they want to come back together. They want to, to, to things to, to change in, in a positive way. I have a queen of cups here. So this person definitely sees you as, um, as kind and caring and loving and nurturing and stable, stable. Again, like we have stability on this card and stability here. There's more cancer vibes too. Um, But they they want to be stable in your in in your life, and that's also reiterated in the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is about going from chaos to calm. So this person they want to be this calmness in your life. They don't want to be the storm anymore. I think at one point it might have been exciting in your connection for those that have been a dynamic on and off with this person. There may be a level of excitement to that, you know, but it feels immature. And as you guys have matured, as this relationship has matured, um, things feel like they, I, I just want stability now. I want to move forward. I want things to be calm. I don't want them to be crazy. And um, we have travel on this card again. So there is definitely their distance. You guys are like long distance or there's like a knowing of a, I need to come towards you. This person may be a traveler. Uh, that's been coming up a lot in readings lately. Um, but yeah. All right. So that's, that's it. Let's move on to some other cards, get some more information. Um, how else is this person feeling? What does the viewer need to know about this person's connection and their feelings for them, please? Star again. So we have star, star, star. So someone's name could be star. There could be a nickname around star. Star could be important. Now I'm seeing star tattoos. I have star tattoos, so I guess that's <laughs> maybe that's why that's in my head. But this person sees you as having star quality. Like you shine so brightly, you might not even realize how bright this person sees you. Again, getting this like north star, your true north. Like they know that you're like guiding them where they need to go. <clears throat> if someone's on like a major like journey where you have like, diff okay, I'm going to get weird for you guys for a second. So if you're not into all this stuff, feel free to just ignore this part. But I literally feel like someone's higher self, like if you're into like 5D selves and stuff like that is literally here. Like I'm a little creeped out at the moment. All of a sudden <laughs> I don't feel bad, but if you have a tendency to know that you're on some sort of spiritual journey with this person and their 5D or their higher self is around all the time, I feel like they're they're here. And maybe those are the words that I'm hearing because yeah, I feel like like someone is like standing right next to me. Okay. Um, anyways, all right. And yes, I am gifted in all kinds of ways. I just don't always share them on my videos, but I couldn't ignore that. And I felt like I had to talk about that. So if that's you, <sighs> okay. Anyways, but moving along, we have, I'm not ready. So there is a level of this person, again, this is coming up kind of over this vibe where I feel like this person does not want to come back in until they're fully healed. 
They recognize that they've done a lot of damage. They've burned you down. They, they have a lot to heal. So there is a level of that. I don't know if that's that, you know, that whoever's higher self is here. Um, no, I don't get it super directly, but I just, yeah. Um, not sure if that's a correlating message or not, but I just want to say, yeah, for some of you guys, that your person may not be ready as much as they want things to change as much. It's like, almost like, like this person's like, almost like I need to hurry up and get my crap together so I can heal and I can be the person that they need me to be. We have charm. This person sees you as charming. They see you as caring again. There's just something about you. Like there's a spark that you carry that they haven't found in anyone else and nor do they see that in anyone else okay we have i lied so someone lied about something um either they lied and held back feelings they lied um in general take that for how it fits um and then we have not just yet which was on the bottom of the deck and i saw it but i wasn't going to take it but it fell out so again there's a timing issue here <laughs> And then divine timings on the bottom of the deck. Okay, definitely a majorly spiritual group here, pile two. Okay, so let's see if we can get some more insight to how this person's feeling. What does the viewer need to know, please? Lust, intensity, sexual energy, non-committal. So this, some of your people could be dealing with, you know, some issues around that and they aren't ready to commit yet, but there's a lot of intensity and lust in this connection, or they might be summing this relation, all these feelings they have up to, well, I'm just really attracted to them. There is that level here. But yeah, the, the energy of, the passionate energy in this pile is off the charts for sure. We have confusion, puzzled, unsettled, and clear. So this person's still dealing with some confusion. I feel like it's like they're not quite sure which road to take. Because again, this person doesn't want to hurt you. They know that they've hurt you a lot. Epiphany. Realizations, understandings, awakening. So for some of your people, they could be going through a spiritual awakening. They could have some epiphanies around this connection. Um, epiphanies around you. Memories. Bittersweet dwelling, reminiscing. So they are thinking heavily about you. They kind of kind of like yeah a bittersweet kind of thing they, they think a lot about time past times with you guys um stuff like that and then we have limit final straw overload breaking point so whatever's going on with them they are definitely at their limit we do have euphoric on the bottom or euphoria so you bring them euphoria all right let's pull some songs um if you know the song cool you know hopefully it relates if you don't know um, and you feel guided to look it up, look up the lyrics. If you don't want to listen to it, there should be a message within the lyrics for you. Um, let's see what songs we have. Stitches by Sean Mendez, Adori by Harry Styles, and In Your Eyes by Peter Gabriel. So there could be like that say anything moment where someone with the boom box over their head. And then let's pull one more. Crush. Um, not crash, but crush, which is a different, I have it underlined for a reason. Dave Matthews song. Most people know crash, but crush is, look that up. Look, those, that's a sexy song. Um, <laughs> so there could be, you know, again, messages here, but uh, sorry, I was talking about the say anything, the boom box over someone's head standing outside wanting to give you a message. All right, let's pull some message cards before I take this over to the extended. Let's get you some messages from this person. So for Pachi's person, what do they want to say? What do they want them to know? In time, we will be together. We will reach union. How do you need to be loved? What do you want to be loved? There's some stuff I talk or this is some toxic stuff I have to release. And just tell me how you feel. All right, I'm gonna pull one more deck. We have you're the light of my life. That definitely was popping up through this. I'm gonna do a couple more and then I'll take this over to the extended. Let's get a couple more for pile two, please. I've been bleeding in your silence. 
I'm truly sorry for my words and actions. Do you realize how amazing you are to me? Your beautiful face is always on my mind, and I turned out liking you more than I originally planned. All right, guys, um, don't forget to like, um, comment, even if it's just an emoji. I'm going to take this over to the extended for, um, we're going to look into this person's intentions and actions, um, possible outcomes, as well as guidance, more message cards, some more songs, just some more deeper dive into all this if you're interested. The... Uh, um, the links are in the description box. So you just open that up, click on the links and, um, yeah, if not, no big deal. I'll see you guys in a future reading. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. It's truly an honor and have a good one. Bye guys. Hello, hello, hello. My lovely friends for pile three. You guys picked this lovely moonstone, this rainbow moonstone here. I actually have two moonstone rings on. This one has a really cool story. Maybe one day I'll share. There's a portal story. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry guys. So we are going over how your person's currently thinking and feeling about you or feeling about you. I'm more going to be focused on feelings this video. And then you guys know any other random stuff that comes up uh, that I need to share, I will share. So um, if you're returning, thank you so much. Don't forget to go ahead and like, because you know you like my stuff. Um, and that helps me out. Anyone new, thank you so much. I hope you find value here. Um, we are going to start with just kind of an energy check-in, um, some things about the connection, just to help you know if you're in the right spot. Um, you guys have mentioned you really like when uh, I do that, so I try to do that more often. Uh, if you're drawn to this pile, there should be at least something, though, you need to to hear within it. Um, so yeah, so let, let's, let's get going here. So, um, first card we have is chop wood. This gives me massive Virgo vibe. So a lot about routines, things need to be cleaned up. Um, there could be like an essence between the two of you guys, uh, in this connection, there could be like a pause or a cleaning out of things and kind of a stagnancy is coming up for me with this. Um, but also this person could just be very detail oriented, liking doing, doing things in a certain order, or I could be describing you. Um, the, the number 42 could be important or four or two or the number six as well. Um, so as in like, you know, fourth month, second month, sixth month, fourth of the day, 24th, whatever, just a combination that like I'm like literally I feel like this is being circled. So it's, it's important for somebody. Um, but yeah, and, uh, someone could also possibly be a, a house cleaner or something like that is kind of coming in. And then we have house. So we have the house here. So within the connection, there could be where you guys live together or have lived together or have discussed buying a house, but this is also about stability. Um, something domestic again house cleaning keeps coming up um but having a home and wanting to build a home the number four is on this as well oh we have a k for the king here is coming up um there also might be a story around a haunted house like i'm being very drawn in and seeing this in a darker way so i don't know if there's like a ghost hunting kind of vibe here between the two of you guys or that your person is enjoys um not exactly sure. Uh, we do have fertility here. So uh, there could be, um, and we have children in this card. So I'm going to kind of, this could be a pile where you're watching about someone that you have a family with or you're married to or something like that or have had kids with or we're supposed to have kids with. That's coming up too. Um, or this person has children or something like that. Um, cause there, there's something about, you know, bearing fruit, fertility, you know, children, life beyond our own kind of vibe coming in here. One of you guys could just be very fertile. <laughs> um, 
or both of you guys are together. Then this card says children. It says children are involved in this relationship. This could be the possibility of bringing in a child or have been thinking of having children. This may pertain to acknowledging your inner child or reaching a childlike frequency for higher vibration. Um, but this definitely feels like there's just children involved in the dynamic, either on your side, their side, or between the two of you guys. Um, also, you guys may live in the same neighborhood or grew up in the same neighborhood. Meditating by a tree might be important. Also, blue jays, compass, Cinderella. I'm getting like Cinderella vibes, like where she has to clean a lot too. It's kind of coming in. All right. I think that's all the messages that I'm getting just for some possible situations or dynamics. So let's get into the tarot. I am going to take this Ace of Cups and put it back in. Oh, as I looked up at the clock, it was 444. Uh, one of my other readings, I, I looked up at 333, so that was cool. So 444 four, four might be important to you. Um, synchronistic numbers. 444, uh, four, four, I think, I'm pretty sure it's uh, where all your angels are surrounding you. So this could be a faded connection. How is Pile Three's person feeling about them, please? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Woo. We have a Seven of Wands here. So there could be a level of stubbornness <laughs> between the two of you guys, um, defensiveness defensiveness about this connection but in knowing this artist's interpretation of this card this is also someone that doesn't allow outside energy to affect them so this person could see you as someone that you know you could meditate you could be very zen like um you could have this peace about you that nothing seems to shake your resolve and that's something that they could really like about you if we're looking at how um they feel about you, uh, you might just be able to handle like a lot of things that come at you too. It's kind of like you're in this bubble. But, and also for others of you, there could be a lot of just friction that's coming time to time and you guys could be, you know, kind of blocking them. Also for some of you guys, you may have blocked this person. <laughs> Feels like, you know, like, nope, you can't get into my energy. I won't let you, uh, I'll let you uh, ruin my peace. We have a Ten of Wands here. So there's a heaviness to this connection. There's a heaviness to how this person feels about you. Again, a lot of you guys may have left this person because I'm noticing that this chick has packed her bags and moving on. But this person also feels kind of responsible for your situation for some reason. I don't know if maybe you guys had were living together and now you're not or someone left the home. This person's feeling responsible for how things have gone. Maybe that's nice to hear. They're taking some responsibility. We have a six of pentacles. So this person sees you as generous. I think they know that they haven't been as... I don't know. I feel like someone owes you money. Gosh, this is such a weird, there's a lot of weird messages coming in. I'm trying not to be too precise about this. <laughs> this feels like very much like a one-off. Hmm. I'm actually seeing someone I know in my head. So it's really weird. Okay. Um, or a client I do readings for, but anyways, so sidebar aside, um, this person definitely sees you as someone who's fair, someone who's giving, and you may have given a lot to this person. Maybe they just feel like they owe you from everything that you give, all the kindness you've shown. Um, maybe you've been through a lot, but yet you, you know, you still are so giving of yourself. Um, you don't allow things to affect you. Maybe this person, I, I feel like for some of you guys, this person like tries to make little jabs in a playful way, but like nothing like rocks you off your boat kind of thing. Like you're like, nope, I'm good can't get me down 
heartbreak. Okay, so there's there's a lot of pain in this connection. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, this isn't like a connection where you guys are like newly into this and things are great. <laughs> so if that's how you are, this might not be your pile. Um, I mean, if you were here, there could be something here for you. If you were drawn to this and if this stuff made sense. Um, but there's some heartache here. So there's some pain uh, that this person feels in this connection. Um, but we'll clarify all this to get a deeper dive. But let's see. One more for this row. How's this person feeling? This person feels like they have a lot to build. A lot of to make up for. Some of you guys could be in a third party situation. I don't always read threes that way, but I'm getting that vibe here. Um, there's a lot of mending that needs to happen in this connection. Like I'm very, very drawn to both of these. And like, so we have this like kind of red cords coming off this heart that's kind of wrapped around this person here and then as this red line comes in here someone's like knitting and, and fixing and building something from it so it makes me feel like there's a lot that needs to be mended in this connection a lot of pain that has been caused on both sides that needs to be fixed okay let's clarify the seven of wands can we get more insight to what this is about king of cups One more. I'm not grasping that. Two of Wands. This person, you know, again, I feel like you may have been like, mm. this person may have taken way too long to express their feelings. They may have never expressed their feelings here for you. They may keep their feelings under lock like this could be the bubble that they see you in but they keep that all to themselves it's like it's easier to like keep it like at a distance than to really really honor their feelings for you i keep like i'm being i've used this deck so many times and i'm being very drawn into this window and how this, this person's looking through this window, almost a longingly looking at what could be, but yet there's been a glass around this person too, like a protection. Huh. There could be long distance here with this boat. It could be a sense of travel. But yeah, I, I feel like this person, there's a sense of like recognizing that they didn't, they never shared their feelings and they kind of missed out. There's some regretful energy coming in on this and how they're feeling about you. Clarify this ten of wands, please. Two of pentacles. Gosh. Ten of swords. Yeah, so this is feel like there's been an ending. They're trying to balance things out. It might have been like this is it's better off this way in this pile. I don't feel like this person could reciprocate and give you what you needed. And so either they walked away or you walked away or you both walked away. But there's endings here. Painful endings, but endings. We have a king of pentacles. For the person out there that someone owes you money, they are making more than letting on about and trying to, there, there's a selfishness here too. As generous as you are there, they're holding on back. Um, this is such a strange reading. Hopefully this is making sense for whoever this is for or, or more of you guys because this is feels very particular. I, I get that. Um, try to shake that energy so I can see other options in here. But when it comes to how this person feels about you, so sidebar from, again, that message that came back up, this person would see your value here. Like they see you of tremendous worth. They see you as someone who's generous and kind and caring and stable. Um, let's, ooh, clarified I, <laughs> the three of swords with the moon and the devil. So some of some people's people out there could be dealing with a lot of fears. 
uh, could be dealing with some toxic love traits, dealing with some addictions here. Um, they maybe they feel really bad about that, maybe not being able to face their fears, face their own demons, so to speak. Capricorn energy, Pisces energy coming up here. Um, we have Capricorn energy in here. Uh, Gemini. More Capricorn energy. Libra energy. Aries energy. Hmm. As well as Leo's here too. This is a pretty intense pile, okay. Um, there's also a level of, for some of you guys, if in this breakup, this person could be a little obsessed with you, uh, could feel like a little like, like almost like they can't get away from this. Like you might also be showing up in their dreams with the moon here. Um, always gives me, even though the moon represents uh, cancer, right? No, this is the Pisces card, but moon also, moon rules uh, cancer. But um, Pisces always reminds me of dreams, like the dream state. So you could be haunting their dreams very much. It's causing them a lot of pain. Maybe in their dreams, you know, like karma is being played out in their dreams. It might not be played out in their real life, but in their dreams, it's like they think they are feeling all the hurt that they've caused you. All right, let's continue with this. Seven of Cups. I think that they think about this often. Like, how do they mend this? How do they fix this? How do they get out of this predicament? Um, some of them might not know how or feel like they can. We do have the Strength card as an overall energy about how they feel towards you. So they definitely feel very drawn to you, but they also like feel like they can't mess with you anymore. Like, I think that you finally, for some of you guys, have, have walked away from this person or this connection. Even if they left first, like, you have stepped into your power and there is no, like, turning back now. And they recognize that. And maybe, like, you're, you're holding their feet to the fire a little bit. Um, but you found your strength and they recognize that. Like, you can't, you, you can't phase them anymore. But they find that even more intriguing about you, which is very toxic. Um, all right, so let's get, and actually I want to do these first. Can we get some more insight to how this person is feeling towards the viewer? Not just yet. I'm not ready. It was already flipped over. So if you're looking to see if you guys are getting back together, I don't know if I feel that in this pile. I will be doing an extended and we'll kind of be going over that, or we will be going over that. Um, we have charm. But this just feels... Hmm. Sorry. Again, if, you, if you're having, you know, good connection, this isn't your pile. This is very heavy. This is very, there's a lot of toxicity in this connection. And this person may have some addiction issues. So that, so the reason all this is coming up is because it's clouding over anything else in this connection, clouding over feelings they have for you, other than the fact that they see that you can no longer be messed with. I'm getting some narcissistic vibes, not saying this person is a clinically narcissistic. They could be. I do feel like that gets thrown out way too much. I think a lot of people have narcissistic tendencies, um, but clinical narcissism is, is actually a little more rare than I feel like it's thrown around. Um, but there's a lot of people that do crappy things, right? Right. But that's how this feels. This feels like somebody that has kind of used their charm, used this connection, possibly used some children there in this connection to their advantage. This just feels really not so fun. You take my breath away. I feel like this person is a charmer. Like they could talk a cat off a fish truck kind of vibe here. 
Hmm. All right, let me pull some more cards. See where we're going with this, guys. Okay. <laughs> Pile three's person. What else do they need to know? We have consequences, shallow, conflicted, and tension. Yeah. This is definitely not the lovey-dovey pile. And that's okay, you know, because that's life sometimes. So those of you guys who are still sticking around with this, and I'm assuming this is speaking your truth, so uh, I'm not going to second guess that anymore. So anyway, so how's this person feeling? I think they're dealing with consequences. Even if it's not coming up in their day to day life, some of them, I feel like their dreams are so intense that they're having a lot of realizations there. This person prefers to say shallow. They, you know... They're trying to be surface level and maybe you're very deep. Maybe you're like intense and, you know, they never deserved you to begin with. And, but there is a conflictedness here with this person. Um, they're inconsistent. They have multiple choices, but you know, there's a lot of tension and stress and arguments in this and they're very elusive. So some of you guys may be having a hard time connecting with them or locking them down, especially if you guys do have children or something that that dynamic is here. Um, Wow. All right. I'm going to pull some song cards and then we're going to pull some message cards. See what this person wants to say. And then I'll take this over to the extended. All right. There's way too many. I'm going to put these all back in. If they're meant to come back out, they will. Don't worry. All right. Can we get a song card? All right. Collide by Howie Day apologize Repu one republic so again i feel like a lot of you guys have been like nope no more it's too late to apologize like, i'm just done and then we have barely breathing by duncan chic you take my breath away maybe that's like you 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 like sucker punch them um Somewhere only we know by Keen. All right, let me see what deck do I want to use. Use this deck. What does this person want to say? What do I want pile three to know? I feel like there's a lot of frustration here in this energy. Don't give up just because the situation wasn't ideal. I want to travel back to that day. Yes, whatever you asked a question, there's a yes. There are so many things I should have said. I love myself more and so should you. And I don't deserve to be in your life. I think that's the kicker for this one, guys. You know, again, do what you want. But, um, all right, I'm going to take this over to the extended. We're going to go over um, this person's intentions, possible outcomes, um, guidance, as well as some more message cards as such. Um, the link will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Um, again, I know this pile wasn't the easiest one, so sending you guys lots of love. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you for spending your time with me, and I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. Bye, guys.